What's going on, all of you fantastic freelancers? William here with our first dev tracker since my admittedly unfortunate hiatus from content creation. You may be wondering, however, why isn't this going up on Monday like they usually do? Well, if you've been with me since the beginning, you all know that I was the first one on YouTube to start making these Anthem dev trackers, and when the channel was still new, they would go up on Sundays. After doing a few, I decided to move them to Monday so I could include Sunday's tweets into the rotation. Though with Sunday hashtag AMA tweets being few and far between, I've decided to have the weekly dev trackers reclaim their throne on Sundays. And as one last side note, this will be a comprehensive dev tracker for developer tweets from September 10th to October 7th. As per the usual, these tweets come from our amazing developers for Anthem, and their tweets aren't listed in any special order aside from when the tweet was tweeted. Without further ado, let's get into it. Our first tweet goes out to the king of Ask Me Almost Anything About Anthems, Mr. Mark Dara. John tweets to Mark if we will be getting any other ultimates in the future. For those of you who aren't aware, each javelin will only have one ultimate at launch. Mark replied that they aren't discussing post-launch at this time, but is in fact a gear piece just like everything else. This Despite each suit only having one ultimate, I'm willing to bet the team will develop and release more ultimates as well as gear attachments after the game launches to keep things, you know, fresh and interesting. Our next tweet comes from one of my favorite questioners, Dynamite Deegan, who tweets to Mark if there will be settings in matchmaking an Anthem. So if you want to play with a certain type of player, such as wanting to play with a Colossus if you're a Storm and need a tank, Mark replied that this isn't planned mainly because they don't want to be too exclusionary of options. This doesn't mean, however, that there won't be some sort of party balancing in Anthem. Ashley Bates tweets if the game is set up for tank slash damage slash support roles, and if so, is the Colossus the only tank, or can other javelins be equipped for the tank role? And can each javelin fill multiple roles? Mark replies that the Colossus does have some explicit aggro control abilities available, however anyone can be a tank in theory. Another fan tweets if we will have custom idle animations at launch, and if so, are you able to have multiple idle animations equipped that would load into one another or simply one at a time? Mark stated that he doesn't think that they will have customizable idles at launch, which is all good and well with me, but it wouldn't be a bad thing to include at some point. This next one comes from Mike Gamble, and I mean, wow. This is a rough one. Mike says the quickest way to find out if someone can be a producer is by telling them that it's their job to read through the YouTube comments. <laughs> Major props and kudos for you all to have the strength to do that, however we hope your Anthem is a bit easier to stomach. Our next tweet comes from John Warner announcing that Anthem has officially gone into the alpha stages of testing. A link to the article in the tweet will be in the description below. And I know I've already said it once, but again, a huge congratulations to everyone on the dev team again. This is a monumental achievement, and I hope you all celebrate it accordingly. Also, fingers and toes and everything else crossed that I'll be able to get some alpha action soon. Another one of my favorite tweeters, the Potato Man, one Two, three tweets to Mark if we will be able to customize the color of the fabric padding inside the javelins so that when we enter our suits, it can look a bit different. Mark states that the team has discussed this and while it won't be an option at launch, it's a possibility later on. Also, <laughs> Mark made a funny. DJ Graham Blue tweets to John that it would be nice to get some new footage for Anthem right about now. And I'm not arguing in the slightest. John replied that they are currently heads down into getting the world ready for us, but they will try to give us something soon. This was written on September 26th, and October is looking like a prime month for a new info drop of some sort. The Peanut Gallery tweets if the Colossus Javelin can revive while its shield is up. John replied that the Colossus would be able to do so, and I'm starting to like the Colossus more and more with each passing tidbit of new information. Isaac Hall tweets if leaving a weapon slot empty would open us up to something else available, i.e. higher mobility, or allow us to put something else in that place like a non-weapon. Mark answered with one of his legendary answers that says it all. Michael Gamble, not our Mike Gamble, tweets to Mark Dara if there will be any textures or color schemes that affect your visibility to enemies or a combination of the two. Mark replied that it wouldn't be possible, and I know I wouldn't benefit from that even if that was a thing due to my red, gold, and black color scheme. Ben Slee even tweets if the Shaper Storm events require four people to complete them. Mark replied that they would, which brings up an interesting mechanic we haven't discussed in 2018 too much. When Anthem had its first gameplay reveal in 2017, we were shown a glimpse of a Shaper Storm. It would be nice to get some new information on the Shaper Storm, so my request to you freelancers is start tweeting them out at the devs ASAP. Our next tweet is a teaser tweet from Elaine Baxter, who writes, It's Freelancer Friday here at work, and I just stumbled on a new small secret area that took me into the 
this amazing redacted well done world building team. I can't say much more, but I have to go back with bigger guns. What else have I missed? Mike Gamble follows that up by adding that he must be talking about the thing with the teeth. My question would be, obviously everything could, would, and can kill you, so how big are we talking about in regards to said teeth? Are we talking Gravit size, Ursic size, Wyvern size, or something worse? Hey, kick him. Here's to hoping we get that dragon. This next tweet we have already covered and made a video on previously if you want to go check that out. A card should appear right about now that will take you to it. Anyways, Jason Lineley tweets to Mark if you are going to have to do a mission to unlock your javelin. Mark responded that they were initially going to have the javelins tied to missions, but this resulted in them getting unlocked too late into the game. As a result, you will instead be able to choose a suit to unlock at different level thresholds, which was later revealed to be in increments of 5. Another fan tweets if there are different types of weapons in Anthem them like there were a Mass Effect Andromeda, such as bullet-based weapons, energy beam-based weapons, and so on. Mark replied that there are different types of weapons in Anthem. Next up is the reveal of either the cutest or the most disturbing thing we have seen in Anthem yet. Viewer discretion is advised. Behold, the first real look at the one and only Grab it. Apparently these things are delicious and, oh, they think you are too. He looks like a Steve to me. I shall name you Steve. Steve the Gravit. Mohammed tweets to Mark if he can confirm that the Interceptor can only have one weapon equipped according to what we've seen from the trailers. Mark replied that the Interceptor can equip two, and the guy in the trailer was a level 1 freelancer. You can unlock the second weapon at level 2. We covered this and the rest of this tweet in our latest video on level gating in Anthem. So, initially I wasn't going to have this tweet on the list. But a member of the Your Anthem community Discord seems to believe it holds some sort of water. I'll leave that for you all to decide. So Mark tweets out that there is some sort of punchline here. What do you get when you take two away from a baker's dozen? I know the answer is 11. What's the funny answer? Does this mean something is coming in November on the 2nd? Or February on the 11th? Or is Mark Dara just trolling us? I'll leave that for you all to decide. A fan tweets to Mark if there will be any Iron Man themed gear or skins for the Javelins. Mark replied that they would need Disney to be on board with that. I think it's a sincere possibility, especially considering Disney's Marvel Cinematic Universe had a crossover event with a certain game with Infinity War's release. Another their fan tweets if the Interceptor Javelin can equip a shotgun type weapon, since it is in fact a close quarters Javelin. I'm sure many of you Interceptor mains are pleased with Mark's response, stating that the Interceptors can use shotguns. Juan Ross follows that up by asking if there are any weapons the Interceptor cannot use, to which Mark replied that they cannot use heavy weapons. Cameron William tweets that he was under the impression that there were actual loot drops that could turn your Interceptor into a sword-wielding flying fighter. Mark replied that it wouldn't be possible at launch, but it's not impossible for it to happen after launch. Our last actual AMAA tweet is from Thomas Curver, who wants to know if the HUDs are the same in each Javelin or if they are different. Mark replied that he thinks that they are the same, and I'd understand from a customization standpoint if we were playing Anthem in first person, but considering Anthem is in third person, it would make more sense for the HUDs to be the same. And our last tweet is from Sarah Schnackner, who is recording for Anthem. And I've absolutely got to agree with you, John. I can't wait to hear what she's created for the game. And with that, I believe we have covered everything for this week's episode of the Anthem Dev Tracker. A few things before we close out the episode. As we speak, the Javelin Concept Contest judges are rating and scoring your concepts submitted by you all. We have seen some incredible suits, and based on the scores I've received from the other judges so far, it's looking like it could be a few Javelins taking home the gold. I will be announcing the winner tomorrow and we will get in contact with you so we can go over what you want your award-winning javelin to look like. As ever, if you enjoyed this dev tracker, be sure to leave a thumbs up and I just wanted to quickly thank the guy who spams about 9 dislikes over the course of a minute. I'm not even kidding. Thank you. Any type of reaction we get, both thumbs up and thumbs down, helps the channel immensely. YouTube views any reaction, both a thumbs up or a thumbs down, as better than if there wasn't a reaction at all, so a huge shout out to you. Lastly, a very special thanks to my incredible patrons for their support. I hope you all are gearing up to have an incredible week this week, and as always, I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next video very soon. Peace out, everyone.